a good eye, uh, but it, it was uh, anyway. So um, there's a new movie, Thor is coming out, right? So Thor, and get, I, I didn't even know that I gave this guy my number when I met him, uh, when I met him in uh, Dawkins, right? Who The God Delusion. He called my house and wow. he left me a message. Here it is. Hello, James. This is Professor Richard Dawkins, lecturer at Oxford and author of The God Delusion. As a scientist and educator, I have made it my life's work to eradicate scientific ignorance especially that which is informed by religious thought. Therefore, I am particularly irked when major Hollywood motion pictures are released that seek to throw humankind back into an intellectual dark age. I am speaking, of course, about the movie Thor, starring Christopher Hemsford, whoever that is, and Sir Anthony Hopkins, which portrays the Norse gods as actual entities. When I heard about this, I nearly spit my Earl Grey tea out of my nose. I've got my hands full trying to debunk existing theisms. Now this, this piece of rubbish will indoctrinate a whole generation of children into thinking that thunder is caused not from an atmospheric exchange of energy, but rather by a magical hammer wielded by the petulant bodybuilding son of an angry one-eyed sky god who lives in a golden castle approachable only by a rainbow. I mean honestly. Christians already want to have their version of creationism taught in schools. Must we also teach the Norse version? That a giant primordial space cow lit a frozen Middle Earth free of its icy encasing over a thousand years? The mind boggles. Jimmy, I would like to use your show, which is in the forefront of rational thought, to instruct people to wake up. We must discard the foolish religions of the past if we wish to move forward as a species, even if they are fun and entertaining. Sorry if I sound a bit exhausted and crabby. I spent all weekend running to every Easter egg hunt I could find and barking at five-year-olds that both Jesus and the Easter Bunny are ridiculous myths perpetuated by their ethically bankrupt parents and are destroying the earth. Do give me a call back and get a chance, Jimmy. Okay, that was... <laughs> I'm impressed that his argument against Thor was not that it looks like a bad movie. It's just... <laughs> yeah, it's just... Uh, I know. It's purely, purely you know, metaphysical. You know, as long as we're playing... Some